Hi, welcome everyone to my channel. Today I am going to show you an easy method to remember double entry rule. So let me explain this one using the accounting equation. So what's the accounting equation that we have learned? Assets equals equity plus liability plus income minus expenses and if it is a sole or partnership business there will be minus drawings also. So let me rearrange this formula in this way. So in your left side of the equation you have asset, expenses and drawings and right side of the equation you have equity, liability and income. So what's the easy method to remember this double entry rule? Very simple. If there is any element in left side of your equation increase, that means asset, expenses, drawings. If any one of these three increase, we will record it as a debit record. In your right side of the equation, any element increase, that means your equity, liability, income. Any of these three element increase, we will record it as a credit record. So whatever the debit record will be recorded in the debit side of the T accounts or ledger accounts. Whatever the credit records will be recorded in the credit side of the T accounts. So as I said you, if any element increase from the left side of the equation, asset increase, expense increase, drawings increase, if any of these three element increases, it's a debit entry. Then if any of these three element decreases, it should be what? It should be a credit entry. As I said you, if any of the three element of the right side of the equation, if it increase, it should be a credit entry. Then if it decrease, it should be a debit entry. So your double entry rule will be like this. If asset increases, expense increases, drawings increases, left side of the equation increases, debit. If it decreases, credit. If your right side of the equation increases, that means your equity liability and income increases, it should be credit. If it decreases, it should be debit. So let me take this to an example. I am telling the business took a bank loan of 10,000 US dollars. So if business takes a bank loan, what will happen? The business is getting some asset. What's the asset that business is getting since the business took a loan? Business is getting cash asset. So I said you, Asset increases, asset is there in the left side of the equation. So whatever the left side of the equation increases, it should be a debit entry. So your cash asset is increasing, so it should be a debit record, which will be recorded in the debit side of the T account. And from other end, what's happening, your liability increasing because you are taking a loan, the business is taking a loan. So if liability increases, I said you, the liabilities are there in the right side of the equation. So whatever the element increasing in the right side of the equation, it should be a credit record. So your liability increasing, you will record that loan as a credit record. You will record it in the right side of the T account. So double entry rule is that simple. If any element in the left side of the equation increases, assets, expenses, if it is a sole or partnership business, there will be drawings. If any of these three increases, it should be a debit record. Debit records will be recorded in the debit side. If it increases debit, decreases credit. So that side is done. So now let's come to the right side of the equation. What are the elements you have? Equity, liability and income. So any of these three element increases, it should be a credit record. Credit records will be recorded in the credit side of the T accounts or ledger accounts. If it decreases, it should be a debit entry because increases credit entry, decreases it should be a debit entry. So if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe my channel to watch the future videos. Then let's meet again with my next video.